In 2022, you need to learn so many technologies to create a web app, and it's getting really quite overwhelming. So I think it's time to return to HTML. What if instead of front-end logic with JavaScript, you wrote HTML? And instead of back-end logic with JavaScript, you wrote HTML. Introducing HTML.js, the web framework where you only need one language. There are many advantages to using this. Anyways, let's build a simple app and then deploy it to, and more about this later, a shared hosting service on Hostinger, the sponsor of today's video. Start by downloading the base project from the GitHub link in the description and open it up with your favorite editor. Make a basic HTML outline with a title and some CSS to spruce things up. Then import the framework file with the script tag. Now to define behavior, add a do tag to the head and you can write your HTML.js code right here. I want to make the background color change every time the site is clicked, so we're going to get the onClick attribute of the document body. Surround this with a name tag and again by a set tag. This will let us change the value of onClick to the second element of set. We can define an anonymous function taking a single argument called event. After defining arguments, we need to create a code block for the function's behavior. Here, we're going to be setting the document's background color. A color code is simply a hashtag followed by a random hexadecimal string. We can use the star operator to multiply a call to math.random and this big number. Then, call math.floor on it, call its toString property in base16, and concatenate it with a hashtag string to become a valid hex code. We can then use similar tactics in the script.html file to define the backend logic. Since the HTML.js framework is capable of importing JavaScript, we can take advantage of the Node ecosystem to create an express app. I've left the script in the project template, but you can try to figure out what it's doing on your own to better understand how to use the framework. Now that we have a working HTML.js app, we'd want to make it accessible online in order to assert dominance on the other programmers. To do this, I'd recommend using today's sponsor, Hostinger, so we don't need to deal with annoying stuff such as low uptime, setting up SSL certificates, or paying extra for domains. To deploy a project, simply go to hostinger.com slash a byte of code and select a premium shared web hosting plan. Not only is it super affordable, but if you use the coupon code abide of code at checkout, you can get 10% off. Click on create website, then create an empty website, select a domain and finish the setup. Go to the control panel and open up the file manager. In the public HTML folder, delete the pretty horrible program file and create an index.html where you're going to want to put your front end HTML code. Then make a HTML.js file and yeet the framework's JavaScript in there. Although we did make a backend HTML script, it's not necessary for this hosting plan. However, if you really want to use it, Hostinger does sell access to dedicated servers you can use to run Node on directly. Oh, and did I mention that with the Black Friday sale going on combined with the Byte of Code discount code, you can get about 90% off of your web hosting just by clicking the link in the description. Now that you have a full stack responsive HTML only web app, share it with me. And if you want to watch more videos about ruining JavaScript, check out this one I made about JSFuck. Anyways, have a nice day.